Folks, here's a clip from the uh, Christian Broadcasting Network featuring the former sports reporter and current terrorism expert, Eric Stakelbeck. I mean, that's... It's a natural transition. It's a natural transition. Um, Here he is explaining... The weird, uh, you know, this is, it's, it's counterintuitive why radical leftists are working with um, extremist Muslims to impose Sharia law on the country. You wouldn't think they would, but um, Eric Stakelbeck Beck explains how they're doing it. Political left is not going to be again be aligned with someone that wants to kill homosexuals. Right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. no, it doesn't make sense, Eric. Sid, it makes no sense, right? Strange bedfellows. Everyone at home is probably thinking the left would be the first ones with their heads on the chopping block if Islamic Sharia right. law came into power. But here's the sticking point. Is that their goal? That is their goal. Sharia law for one and all, whether we like it or not. That what's going to happen, goal. bottom line, to women? Well, there will be no women's right, and every Women's rights sit in every woman from so small to large. So how's the far large. left <laughs> get together it, with it, them? it makes our heads might explode here on set <laughs> trying to wrap our heads around this. Here's the deal, Sid, and here's the key point people at home need to remember. Why would radical Islamists who want Sharia law and hardcore radical leftists who want, I guess, a Marxist utopia, why would they work together? They seem like strange why? bedfellows. Sid, they share a common foe, Judeo-Christian Western civilization. Mm. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. That old adage, they hate traditional America, traditional Judeo-Christian Western civilization, which is based on the Ten Commandments. They hate it so much. They hate the name of Yeshua, Jesus, so much that they will work together, at least in the short term, to chip away at traditional America and traditional Western civilization. I I can't even hear the word Yeshua. I just... It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Of course, there you have it. It's all mapped out. Uh, we know this creeping Sharia is just going on everywhere. I mean, what's stunning is that there are people who watch this and go like, when's the Sharia going to come to our town? It's just amazing. G- G- on top of all that, Jesus is a, is a prophet in Islam. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but they don't like- pronounce it Yeshua. Do they? I don't believe so. That's the issue. The issue is that um, us uh, Marxists, we just don't like it when you pronounce it Yeshua. <laughs> just say Jesus, and if you don't, we're going to help impose Sharia law on this country. Bottom line, change the pronunciation of Jesus or Yeshua, or it's Sharia law. Your choice. Stop being so pretentious, or we bring Sharia to a town near you. That's right. I, what I appreciated about him, though, is his, at least his delivery style was more affable than that usual. That that message is usually delivered, and he's just like, "Yeah, bro." Like, yeah. So well, I left this, and uh, you got to you know, appreciate like the, the fact reporter. that they can still laugh about it. You got to see the bright side of it.